Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis, and today's video is going to be an unboxing and review of a 17 inch limited edition Disney doll. I'm so excited because I only need three more characters, technically four, to have every single princess. So I need Mulan, Pocahontas, Elena of Avalor, and Snow White. And today we're going to be unboxing Snow White. I'm so excited. So let's get started. So this packaging is unreasonably enormous. Like, this is my hand. Um, it's a lot bigger than the original style of packaging and then the second version of the packaging. I wish that it wasn't this big. It's kind of hard to display. But anyway, so it says Magic Mirror on the Wall, who is the fairest one of all. In honor of the 85th anniversary of Snow White, the Seven Dwarves from 1937, this collectible Snow White doll enchants, portraying the apple-cheeked princess in all her whimsy and wonder. Her classic beauty with her lips red as rose, hair black as ebony, skin white as snow, is on majestic display. Take part in celebrating Disney's first full-length animated film and first princess with this precious keepsake. And then, um, it doesn't really say the price on the box anymore, but they retail for a, somewhere around 140. I end up paying 150 because of taxes and stuff. And here's our star. She looks so good in there, but I'm so excited to get her out of there. This box is seriously impressive though. I love the gold detailing and I'm so excited to have Snow White in this dress. It's so, so stunning. And we have an 85th anniversary sticker, it says Snow White. And I did tell you that this is the less detailed version. I don't have the other version, I'm not gonna dwell on that too much. The main differences that I noticed that kind of matter to me is that the D23 one has like a crown up here. And then there's also like more chain details here. I'm sure there's other differences, but not important to me because this is the one I have and I'm very happy with this one. And this one at the time of me filming this video is still available on the Shop Disney website. So if you're interested in her, I recommend, I mean, <laughs> I would recommend getting her, after, like, if you watch this review and you like her. Um, also, over here is a pocket that has the certificate. So I cover it with my thumb because people like to scam using these, but um, mine is number 1054. And the certificate's in, like, a little baggie. All right, let's get her out of there. I'm so excited. To address one very pleasant unboxing experience there are only like eight plastic ties it's magical talk about it later two disenchanted came out today please go watch it it's really good you can see elsa and giselle sing together it's amazing three thank you so much to my mom for helping me get this doll i was going to wait to buy her and my mom was like no she might sell out get her so she helped me thank you snow white is now out of the box and wow so I knew I liked her just from the pictures and knowing the d23 doll just knowing that she would be a little less detailed but I'm stunned. The face is so pretty, which I knew it would be. Even the classic Snow White dolls are some of the prettiest dolls ever made. Like they just do her face so much justice. Look at that profile. And just, this this is a bit creased from the packaging. Don't worry about that. Um, over time it's gonna come out, but like, look at this dress and all the details on the back and stuff. I really wonder, cause I, I stay out of Disney groups now because um, they're so unbelievably negative all the time. Um, but I really wonder what the reception of these dolls has been. Cause wow. So oh, cool. So of course we are going to start by looking at the face as usual. So let me get the camera on the tripod really quick. This is what Snow White's face looks like up close. I really, really like it. Her adorable brown eyes. The face sculpt is done really well. I don't have any other 17 inch LE Snow White dolls, but like I know from the 12 inch ones how good her face can look. And this is a really, really good look for her. She's so cute. And I love that yellow makeup above the, the crease. It's just very subtle and very pretty. And then she has Pretty delicate rooted lashes compared to a lot of the other Disney Ellie's, um, but also painted lashes underneath. And I really like it. Very simple face, but also has a lot of detail in, I don't know. It's just a subtle way and I really like it. And then mine, her hair is a bit uneven right now, but it's nothing, a little bit of fluffing can't fix. She has tons of little ringlets. It seems like they're styled in some kind of pigtail situation. I don't know, they're just loose on the head. Um, Disney dolls have nylon hair and it's just styled pretty harshly with gel. On a limited edition doll, I personally don't mind that. Like I prefer that, honestly. <laughs> um, I have one that didn't have gel like this. And since I unboxed mine, her hair has become quite a mess. And then Snow White has a big old forehead. That's just how she is. She's got a middle part here, very cute. And then a little crown braid around there and yeah. And then these are like, how are these put on? I think these are just tied into her head. So if you took that off, good luck putting it back on. I'm not going to take it off. I absolutely love it. So this is like her veil. Really, really like it. It looks so good with the hair, the way they did it. And the material it's made out of is absolutely incredible. And it's actually like two layers. It's not just one layer, which it really could have been. And I love this gorgeous little trim that they put all around it. 
You can see the rose with little petals up top. Really, really cool. And it's very big. Like one of my biggest problems with a lot of Disney Ellie's is that because most people leave them in box, they won't make accessories that need to be huge, huge. But check this out. Wow, it really stretches out and gets enormous. Thank you, I love it, I love it. And then um, this is all because this was kind of scrunched behind her in the packaging. So over time that's gonna fall. Um, I am scared to use any kind of heat on this sort of fabric. It's so delicate and melts pretty easily. Man, look at the back of the dress. We'll get there, we'll get there. So now let's move on to the dress. The first thing we're gonna take a look at is the bodice of the dress as well as the sleeves. The sleeves are so cool, so buckle up for those. But first, the bodice is very simple, actually. Oh my gosh, what? Oh, there's a rubber band there. I was like, why won't your arms move? Okay, you just gotta cut that rubber band, and now she's free. Um, the bodice is fairly simple. I was thinking, like, how many Disney dolls at this point have I seen with this exact same bodice shape? But that's because there's a lot of repetitive Disney designs, like it's fine. Um, but it's really, really cool. I love the trims. It seems like on the more detailed version, there's like extra little like metal chains and probably embroidery on here, but I really like this. It's simple, it's a wedding dress. It's not, well, depends on what you go for. I like a very like simple wedding dress with a really cool like silhouette as opposed to just having like a crazy amount of embroidery, but you know, that's just two different styles. And then this, oh, I forgot to show the earrings. We'll, we'll get there. Um, this is actually metal. It's cold to the touch and it has a really nice little rhinestone here. Love this little piece. Very, very nice. And the construction of this is awesome. I think it reminds me of Aurora um, with like the star shape here, but maybe I'm thinking of the big triangles that are normally here. And then the back, I kind of already saw this. Look at this. How cool is that shape? I love it. I love it. And you can see the joint that I always forget about there. <laughs> oh, construction's very clean inside too. And I love the subtle little trim that peeks through there really really nice and it's also here really cool and then let's move back up real quick because we forgot to take a look at those earrings and we don't want to forget that Ooh, yes they're hangy ones i'm so glad disney has been doing this more um we deserve more hangy earrings <gasps> and they're actually metal thank you love the little rhinestones so so cute you know i prefer when they do actual metal accessories or at least metal plated accessories i just think they look so much better but um, perhaps that's a problem because over time, what if those rust? That would suck. Um, but I don't know what type of metal this is or even if that would be a problem. Um, anyway, let's take a look at these sleeves. I don't think I can even zoom out enough to convey these sleeves to you fully, so check that out. So we've got, of course, the classic Snow White thing. We have to have it. It's, um, on top of the chiffon. No, this is like an organza, I think. This is a different material than this. Oh, yeah. So this, I believe, is some sort of organza-like material. It's very, very nice quality, though. Much better than most organza that I'm used to. This material is really fooling me. I don't know. Um, I'm sure there's different grades of organza, though. And then we have these ironed-on bits of foiling. Really, really nice. And we see a trim here. Cinches it in. And then the sleeve is open, right? So you have, like, a big, open, very, um, like, a period type of sleeve, you know, like, big and swoopy but then and i've heard of this being a thing in some fashion period i have no idea which one um to just have a sleeve that is ridiculously long and just unreasonable because you're higher class you don't need to use your hands you know um so this goes even further and i love that not only does it have this like really exaggerated length to it but it also has this little clip thing here which is cold to the touch so it is metal plated that is awesome just look at this and the trim all around this it's beautiful and you could probably take this off if you wanted to just like pull it right off um i'm personally not going to but if you wanted to change the look of this sleeve how cool is that um i also wanted to point out that unfortunately the way she's packaged it does gouge her hand out quite a bit and then i could not for the life of me get the rubber band out of here it was like stuck in there so i had to pull it really hard until it snapped and like really hurt my fingers so um be wary all right let me change the camera angle so that we can take a look at the skirt it's huge by the way all right an important test for our skirt Ooh, uh, it doesn't dance super satisfactorily. So strangely, there's not really any crinoline under here. Normally there's, oh, you can see those cute shoes. There's normally something, but all we have, I really like that there's this extra layer here. I assume that's because it's not meant to be super poofy, but man, do I wish it was. I might just put a crinoline in there because this really could be something great. Um, no, it is already great. Don't get me wrong. I just really like poofy dresses. Um, it's very light, so it doesn't swish super satisfactorily, unfortunately, but... It's very cute, very, very cute. So it is a separate piece from the bodice. They always do that. Just gathered in there, looks good. I love this embroidery, it's asymmetrical. So on this part, 
comes down from here, has whatever that is. There's rhinestones in there, great. And then it goes down and then this almost looks like a carriage thing. It's got an apple here, all these different leaves, these flowers, it's really beautiful. Look at that. And you can see that it's semi-transparent, hence the skirt under there. Look at that, so cool. And then there are plastic ties that are holding it in its current position. I am opting to leave those there. Oh, by the way, I never told you guys, the packaging on this doll was sublime. There were almost, well, I found one of the plastic ties, but there were almost no plastic ties. I only had to cut, like, seven, maybe? Like, it was ridiculous. There were only three here, and then I think there were, like, one or two at the bottom of the dress. So, there's, like, no plastic tie holes. I mean, there still are some, but I'm very impressed, because normally they really tie these in place. So, thankfully, I got my doll out of the packaging with very minimal damage to her. Now, there are plastic ties in the skirt holding it in its position but if you leave those alone you're not gonna have a bunch of snags and poles like you normally do so it's really nice anyway so this next one it comes up from the top just like the other one it's so nice i love the golden embroidery um thread that they used the rhinestones here and this thing is like higher up i don't know what to call that thing it's a swirly thing and then yeah more swirly really cool this is a really cool design filigree i don't i don't know what to call any of this and then it does repeat so that same one all the way let's see at the top it's the same so you only get that really big one once and it's right up front i bet it's meant to be more centered than this so let me adjust it that's probably right so i think it's supposed to be like that so that would explain why there's only one it's so cool and then like i said underneath there is just a simple satin you can really see how cheapy satin looks compared to this sort of material so i love that it's hidden be gone um <laughs> and then her shoes they're cute they're not really special but they are adorable. I like the little, um, like, bronzish rose gold. Is that what that, is that what rose gold looks like? I don't know. The bows are very cute. And they are pretty Snow Whitey shoes. They just have little bows, you know? Not much more you could ask for And that's there. it for this doll. I love this one. I always love these. It's very rare that I have anything negative to say about them. And I just, I just love them. I think they're so interesting. I love to see the designers um, that do these dolls interpret different looks from the movies. Um, for example, this dress is not this interesting in the movie from my memory, I don't know. Um, and I just think this is so beautiful. I also am a big fan of simplistic designs that are done well. So like subtle embroidery, subtle trims, things like that. You can make a really high quality, interesting design, like doll based on a high quality interesting design even if there's not a bunch of expensive things like metal everywhere rhinestones everywhere embroidery everywhere and i think this doll captures what i mean by that absolutely beautifully um this is just gorgeous i love 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 this and i can't wait to see what she looks like on my display although she's gonna look a little strange next to the others in her wedding dress <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so glad to finally add Snow White to my collection. And I'd love to know what you guys think of this one. Let's travel over to my Disney display so that we can put her up with all of her friends. I'm so excited. And here's my princess lineup featuring Snow White, who just made it home. I vaguely sort by color. It's like white dresses. I wanted some balance, so there's a big white dress here. I want one of each character, too, so Cinderella is kind of over there. My other Aurora has left. She was there, but now Snow White's here. And this is how it's looking. I love it. She looks so good. I really, really love this one. Beautiful, beautiful doll. Oh, but I do have another piece of criticism. Her face is extremely shiny. Um, This lighting is a lot better for her, but in my studio box lights, she looked a little rough like uh, it was a bit goofy looking but here she looks amazing and yeah that's it for this video thank you guys so so much for watching and i'd love to know what you guys think thank um for all this time bye